I did a video like this um so I'm gonna do a video of you guys watching me some baits um actually it's gonna be in part seven of the eight baits I'm making for uh, something that's coming big this summer um and you guys will see it or whatever but yeah I'm making uh, eight colors I'm on number seven now I mean I got a few of them like right here we got the, what I call Leprechaun part of gold, uh, leprechaun uh, pot of gold. I also got white pearl. I got pink. I got well hot lips. I got plus orange, and I got a couple other ones in there. Um. So today I'm gonna I'm doing this color. We've come up with a name called cinnamon. I mean the place I'm going, the main eight colors they have for the time of year I'm going is pearl. Well, whites, reds, blacks, greens, and hot like black pink. So it's pink's the other color, whatever you want to call it. Um. So the color I'm doing is cinnamon, and this is what. Sorry, but hold on. So let me grab this. This is the cinnamon color. Oh yeah, just focus it on there or not? That's cinnamon color. What it is is um, cherry. It's cher is uh, cherry, um, cherry red with a little bit of red, a little bit of black. Then you have um, black flakes, gold flakes, and red flakes in it. Um, I use the four, uh, the point four zero um, hectocuts. That's what I use for all my baits. Um, the bait stuff I'm using that I haven't said much was I'm using the two forty two low order medium from base plastic that's what I use on all my baits every one of my baits I make I use this I don't use soft I don't use hard I don't use salt that's what I use right there all my baits because to me it has good action to it better quality to it other than they don't, other than they don't run good with a uh, with a uh, salt the salt ones I made for the salt added salt to it the ones I made it messes it up um, then obviously I used pigments from face plastic, which I have focus, focus, whatever. It's not focusing. Well, there. Right, this is all. Uh, this is just watermelon, you know. Then I got, like I said, I got the heck cuts I use. Like all my stuff from bait plastics. All my stuff from bait plastics. Um, I've been working with them. Well, not working with them. I've been using their supplies since. Uh, three years ago since I started all this. Um, I have used Dead On, I have no problem with Dead On, but I don't know their blend as good as I know their blend, uh, as I know Big Plastic blend, uh, blend. And um, they have, like, I mean, like, I got soft, whatever it was, soft something, because I thought that would be good. I was like 242, I got whole, I bought a whole five gallon bucket of it. I mean, I did make base with it. Obviously, I'm all out now. But I don't like to, it's like too soft for me. Like, like when I go fishing, I use my, I, I, I use all the baits I custom make, and um, I like to be able to, like when I do it, like a jig or whatever, if I'm using a jig, I'll glue it, just to glue on it so the bait stays on, and I can catch like literally about 100 fish off it before I even got to change it out, because it doesn't tear or whatever. But the um the one dead on plastic I got, it doesn't work that way. Because I think it's like got the wrong blend. I should have got the swim bait jerk bait blend probably. But I'll try that. I'm not gonna down them. I mean they are good people. Um 
And today, uh, like I said, what I'm doing today is I'm doing a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything for uh, this this thing I got going on this summer coming up. The eight colors I got. Um, I'm using a total of seven different molds. I'm using the uh, Yokomo Cinco molds. I'm using Crawdad mold. I'm using uh, the, the Grub the gr uh, Grub Hub Grub or the, the 3.5 Grub Grubs. I'm using mold. I'm using. I'm using. Um, Swim bait, uh, swim bait mold. I'm using my crappie slayer mold, and I'm using my crappie, uh, whatever my crappie, what do you call it? There? The crappie little guys. Um, what's it at? I think it's, I think it's a, I think it's a two five. I think of what it is. Single tail. So that's what I'm using. Also today, um, this is, this is from this AI and from AI, and that's the one I'm using right there. Just a little, you know, grub, because I am planning on doing some crappie fishing when I head when I go do this thing I'm doing this summer. Um, so I'm doing that too, but now it's a bass fish, and then um, yeah. So I'm gonna um cut the video right now because we're talking about this six minutes um i'm going to get, get the stuff ready i'm going to um he, he hit the plastic now tur I'll turn you guys back on you guys can see uh this formula i'm losing i'll show you this formula and how to make it um you can either keep it yourself you can use it or tweak it yourself whatever you want to do is i mean it's bait making you can do whatever you want man. Just create your, if that's what you're doing yourself you can create your own style of baits you want I mean, people got different things they like to use and um i'm actually going to do a two-part video this is going to be part one of the video then i'm going to do the two-part video with the last color num color number eight and that's going to be uh smoked uh, uh smoke black and gold flakes so i mean that's obviously common sense I made that you know you just put a little coke drop of black in there make sure it's like a great smoky color then add some gold blades and they're done well the other one that I'm using is a little different because of the way it came out and it looks almost like a cinnamon so that's what we call it cinnamon and actually it's going to be part that's just going to be a part of one of our bases I have coming out pretty soon probably within like a few months or whatever not for sure when but when I get it I'll let you guys know I just keep following my shorts and this will be for time to know because I'm gonna stop for a minute yes you know like what I'm doing or whatever support my channel likes comment share and I appreciate it and subscribe to my channel and um, I mean it does help out and uh, I'll let you guys go for now all right see you guys later all right now I'm gonna mix it up this is two cups two cups so this 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 recipe is for two cups. You want to make sure it's nice and clear. The, the uh, pestle is nice and clear. All right. So for two cups, I take the cherry, the cherry seed, and I put it in about between thirty to forty drops per cup. So. That's ten. It's twenty. It's 40. I want to stop at 40 right now. I'm going to stir it up. Because I got to see how this looks. Because I got to add black in here. 
So I'm gonna be saving some. All right, yep. So I'm gonna be saving some. Just in case the black overpowers it, I can add a couple more drops. So right now we're at 40 drops. Then I'm gonna take the red, regular red. I'm gonna put one drop of red, just darken up just a little bit. So it'll be one drop of red. One drop of red. That'll get a little bit darker color that I'm going to need. And then the black's going to finish it off for me. Then I'm going to put one drop of black in here. Oh, well, that's been sent out, so let me mix this up real quick. If you don't, make sure you're always shaking your stuff and mixing up really well because it does settle. Okay, there's one drop of black. Now, I'm going to do okay. Okay, this count this is just fine. Okay, I don't have to worry about anything else because it has a little shadow color in there like I want, like the almost like the smoke color. Okay. And there we got. Then you gotta make sure this is about 350, 360, 370, 380-ish. I get at 380 when I first do it. Cause it gives me it'll stay hot long enough for me to uh do what I gotta do. Then I put in one quarter of a teaspoon per cup. But sometimes it varies, so I'm using three different, uh, four different flakes. So I'll, I'm only going to use probably a quarter of each. So I don't want to overpower it with uh with flakes. Here, here's the uh, gold hex, and then I use this fine. I mean, this is the finest. I don't even know what size this is. This is the finest gold you can find, which almost gives it everything a yellow tint. And there's a quarter of that, and then last but not least, the quarter of the black. For, uh, 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 the, they didn't even put it on it, but this is the, you know, this is the point four zero uh, has cut. So, and I put about, and I put a quarter of that in. And I'm gonna stir this all up, and then we're gonna get, then we're gonna shoot it up, and then after I, whoa. And after we shoot it up, I will finish my product, and then I'll let you guys, and then when I'm done, I'll show you guys what we got out of all of this. So, yeah, that's exactly how I want it, just like that. And this, now this is what I call cinnamon, because almost, almost like a cinnamon, almost like a fireball, after you, like you drop it in water, and, and it, like the dye comes off the water, like the the water takes the dye off. What it almost looks like to me. So, and uh, I'm gonna fill this up. All right. The sink goes. You push down until it gets pressure. You keep the pressure, but I do it for about 15 seconds. Then I will fill it up all the way, cap it off. So that's what I do with. What the hell? All right. Oh, see, and this this one always does this to me. For all this one always ble uh, bleeds bleeds out. I don't understand it. All right. It's crawdaddy. Swim bait. Swim bait. Alright. And after I do that, I kept everything off one more last time. Alright. And then I'll shoot this back in here. And then I'll suck it up again. Because that's for the, uh, like right here, this is for the, uh, the, um, Two inch uh, single till grubs. So we're gonna go, go down, push, push, push. What I love about these molds is with these uh, little wedges on here, they don't bust open, so you can put all the pressure you want on there and it will not bleed through. Sometimes you, sometimes the tails and stuff don't go all the way through, which I don't understand why it does that. It might be something I'm doing, probably more likely something I'm doing. And then we got the, then we got the uh, layers. Alright, then I'll shoot it all back in here, wait a couple minutes till it cools down, and we'll let you guys see what happens. Alright, it's been a couple minutes, so I'm going to pull them off so you guys can see them. 
Right here is the uh, the single grub, two inch. So it has a two inch single grub. Uh, there you go with that. There you go, there's a the cinnamon. As we call it. Here's the uh, two inch sloppy slayer. There you go. And there's another salmon. Then right here. The Cinco. Chub grub. Like I said it bleed. I knew it bleed, but I'll fix that up. It's no big deal. Crawl Daddy. And the swim baities. Swim bait, swim bait. Alright. I'll finish these up and I'll just take I'll show you guys how they all come out. Enjoy your day. Alright, this should be the last run, but maybe not because I do got quite a bit here still left. Um, so, let's see how this works out. So, is that? Uh, okay, fine. Shoot it up. Alright. Alright, that will be all. Let you guys see it real quick. Got them cool down for a couple seconds. And this is the rest of them right here. That's what we got. Right. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do the whole thing I said earlier. Like, subscribe, share it. No, do your thing. Help me out. And I'll see you guys on the next one. And remember, tight lines and fish on.